Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dryden Matsuro and we're here with another Grand Theft Auto V PC modding tutorials. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more daily gaming content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back guys, this video is all about the Modem House Mafia and we are going to do this the OIV way. So like always guys, make sure you download all of the requirements that is inside my description and make sure that they are the latest version. Once you guys have completed that, download this mod too. I will leave this mod inside my description below so you guys can download it. I have already downloaded the mod so I don't need to do it. Once you guys have completed that, go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, right click and open file location. As you guys can see, this folder is a brand specking new folder, so there's absolutely no mods inside this folder. So what we are going to do guys, is that we are going to go and install all the requirements before we install the mod. So if you do have a clean folder, then follow this tutorial. Go to your OpenIV, make sure you download and install OpenIV. Open up your OpenIV and go to Grand Theft Auto V, Windows. It will take a few seconds depending on your PC performance. Once the application is done, head over to Tools, go to ASI Manager, and then make sure you install ASI Loader and open iv.asa and then select yes and then install open camera close your folder and then just minimize your application now we are going to install the requirements make sure that the that the requirements are all the latest version now all you guys got to do is open up your script hog v extract folder and then go into your bin folder and select input 8.dll and scriptwork v.dll drag both files inside your GTA V main folder if an application pops up just only press replace the files now go into your scriptwork v.net extract folder and select scripthogv.net.asi.dll and .xml file and drag all those three files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. Now we are going to install our trainers. Open up your trainer v extract folder and select trainer v.asi and trainer v.ini and drag them into your GTA V main folder. Now open up your menu extract folder and select menu.asi and menu stuff folder. Drag both files inside your GTA V main directory. Now guys this is optional you can download it if you want to but this is inside my downloads Make sure you guys download map reveal and open interiors and open up your map reveal and open interiors extract folder and then copy all three files and drag them all inside your GTA V main directory. Now guys, the next thing we are going to do is go to your Grand Theft Auto V game folder, right click, refresh the folder, right click again and then create a new folder and name that folder scripts press enter once and press enter again make sure you download the native ui extract folder to open up the extract folder and then select native ui.dll make sure that your native ui is the latest version too once completed guys go back to your gta v main folder right click refresh and exit out of your GTA V game folder and now all you guys got to do next is open up your modem house 
extract folder and then go into your modem house folder now you guys got a few things that you want to do but we are going to do it this the easiest way all you got to do is go to your modem house.oiv file and drag it onto your desktop now that's all you guys got to do exit out of your extract folder open up your open iv go to your tools go to package installer and then select modem house.oiv select open and then install and then install it into your mods folder do not install it into the game folder install this into your mods folder and then confirm installation this may take a few seconds or a few minutes it all depends on your pc performance now guys as you guys can see we have finished now the installation is succeeded do not run game just yet just close your application and then uh, exit out of your open iv now all you guys gotta do now is just right click refresh your desktop guys and then i'll see you guys in the game and welcome back guys we, we are here with franklin and we are going to show you guys the location to the modem house but guys just to let you know that it is a kind of a big house okay so i'm not going to show you guys the inside of the house if you guys want to see it you gotta download this mod and then have a look for yourself but just to make you guys happy i will do a few screenshots and you guys can see it through screenshots but i won't be going through the whole thing okay guys so the location for this modem house guys is is sitting is over here somewhere i think yeah it's over here somewhere um maybe over here so we're going to go and teleport there using menu and i think the the modem house is just over here yeah so this is the way the modem house guys i would show you guys but it's kind of big okay guys uh, honestly guys the it's kind of big and it's there's a lot of like upstairs and downstairs so i will show you guys the whole overview of the whole house this is the whole house guys okay the whole modem uh, mansion this is what it looks like guys so yes so guys i hope you guys do like this mod if you guys do then download this mod inside my description below and make sure you download all the requirements too and make sure that you guys download all the latest version too of the requirements and just to let you guys know that the video that i'm about to show you guys is from lafa 2k so i do not take any credits for the video that i'm about to show you guys so make sure you guys head over to lafa 2k's channel and subscribe to him and smash that like button on his video so guys i do not take any credit for this video so i hope you guys do like this video if you guys do then smash that like button and subscribe if you guys are new here and i'll see you guys on my next video thank you for watching guys peace and i'm out